Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my returning subscribers, and if you are new, welcome. I'm going to be doing the reveal of the January 2023 subscription box, which is the faith-based box. So today is Friday, December 30th, so we've got two more days of the year left. So we're going to do this reveal. And yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, ah, feeling a little discombobulated, but I'm going to get it together. So um, when you get your box, you're going to get a listing card and the listing card will detail everything that is in the box. It first says, welcome to the January monthly. Over the next four months, we'll be looking at the ministry of Jesus. So we started this um, for December, because of course, December, um, this month is when we celebrate and honor the birth of Jesus. So we started this month and we're going to end, um, in Easter looking at the ministry of Jesus. So we're continuing. It says we'll be, um, this month we will continue to look at the miracles he performed. It's not just the miracles. Um, it's also going to be the notable stories that are within the Bible um, concerning Jesus. Okay, so we're looking at his ministry as a whole. So I'm going to go line by line and then we'll look at each item that is in the box. So it says in this box, a message and monthly challenge. So here is the monthly message. It has the, the box. I should have said already is entitled this month um, for for January worship God and serve him only uh, these were the words that Jesus spoke when he was in the wilderness and the devil came to tempt him so Luke 4 8 I believe worship God and serve him only that is the title of this month's box we've got this beautiful uh, bouquet of um, peonies florals on the front and then it says January 2023 subscription, the faith-based box. Uh, you open it up, you will find your brief message on the inside, highlighting, highlighting the three stories that we'll be looking at in the Bible. So we've got John chapter four, uh, the woman at the well, John five, uh, verse one to 15, when he goes to Jerusalem and he's at the pool of Bethesda and also Luke five, uh, Jesus is preaching at this um, preaching um, at the seashore in Galilee and he's preaching from Peter's boat at the back I'm sorry at the back can't speak you will find the monthly challenge there are some questions that you can um, review as you go through these stories on your own but that is the message that will be included in the box with the monthly challenge I'm not going to go into too much more detail because of course got to get the box to find out on your own okay back on the listing card it says here one letter size double sided matte print okay so for this double sided matte print you will receive that beautiful bouquet well it's another it's a different arrangement it's the peonies but now we've got some white mixed in with the pink and then this beautiful red it just looks so gorgeous. This is on matte cardstock and it's not just any cardstock. You can hear this is a very thick piece of cardstock. Um, almost carries the weight of the, the thinnest piece of chipboard you can probably find. So this is a, a very good weight cardstock. Turn it over and then you've got this kind of watercolored or washed out effect. It kind of mimics the um, the tones in this pink uh, peonies here. So this is the back of that. So this is the double-sided matte print. It says you'll also receive one letter size acetate print. So we're changing it up this month. Normally you'll get two mattes, but this month you're getting a matte, an acetate, and a vellum. So let's look at the, um, the acetate. This acetate is gorgeous. So I sprinkled about some of the um, individual florals as well as the bouquet, the um, bouquets on this print. And so that you can get a better visual of it, let me move everything aside and lay it flat on the desk. 
and then you get to see the vibrancy of these colors. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. I'll even put it behind, I mean, on top of this um, matte print. And you can get a good look at it there as well. So this is your acetate print. Okay. So we'll put the acetate and the matte to the side. It says you'll also receive one letter size vellum. So let's look at the vellum print. So we've got a treat this month. So I decided to take uh, some of the verses where Jesus encounters the woman at the well because it's one of my favorite verses and I love when Jesus um, speaks these words to the woman at the well. And I thought I would incorporate them on the vellum, but not just incorporate them, but also foil them. So it's in a rose gold foil. The background of the vellum is the same uh, tone, um, watercolored of, um, effect that's on the back of this mat. It is the background of the vellum. The words are printed or superimposed over that background and then the words themselves are foiled in rose gold. It is beautiful. So the verse says the woman, woman, it starts in verse 21, it says woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the father, neither on the mountain nor in Jerusalem. What you do not do not know, we worship what we do, what we do know. The verses are kind of like staggered this way and then staggered this way. So I'm trying to piece it together. For salvation is from the um, is from the Jews. But he's saying that there is a time, just going to paraphrase to keep it short, there is a time when the true worshipers will worship, whose arm um, will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Oh, those are one of my one of my favorite verses. He says that the true worshipers will worship in spirit and in truth. So that is the verse. It's John 4, verses 4. I'm sorry, John chapter 4, verses 21 to 24. Those are the verses that are on here, and they are in the uh, rose gold foil. All right, let me slow down and stop stumbling over my words so that you can get a better look of how that, that foiling is with the vellum. It's too, probably too much tone on tone with that since it's the same background, but I put it back here on the flat white so that you can see that. But I just think that is just beautiful. This is gorgeous. So I'll put that aside and then you'll get four large sticker sheets with artwork and scripture. These sticker sheets are quite large. As you can see, the size of them in relation to my hand. These are large sticker sheets. The first page, it has uh, these checklist boxes. So if you wanted to just um, decorate your, your scripture writing, um, lay out your planner, you can do that and you can still have a checklist. You've got uh, the foliage and the florals. Some of it's sprinkled about on, on the sticker sheets. And then you've got this beautiful collage here with this water splashing and it says living water, John 4, 14. Uh, because also when Jesus encounters the woman at the, at, the, um, at the well, he tells her that if you take the water that I give, you will never thirst. So here it says draw from the well that never runs dry. And then you've got one of these vintage wells here. And this is, an, this is a sticker, this is a sticker. So you can use this entire sticker in your layout, your planner, your Bible journaling. Okay, that's the first sticker, let me not. The second sticker sheet has Jesus and we're gonna have Jesus. Um, if you are familiar with Vin Vaughn Alley and with purchasing from the shop, then you know that this is the um, the Jesus, which is part of the mini faithful line, but he is in a, a different outfit. He has on the blue robe and he is posed differently here. He has both hands clasped over his heart and you've got more of the, um, florals. You've got these hexes, uh, different colors in the color scheme of the kit, as well as, um, with the rose bouquet in the faded background 
uh, you've got the bed here because this is going to um, pull from the story of when Jesus goes to Jerusalem to the pool of Bethesda and he meets the lame man and he tells him, pick up your bed and walk. And the man immediately picks up his bed and he's immediately healed. He's immediately healed. So it says, take up your bed and walk. Uh, this here I thought was just something um, cute to add in. It's a syringe, but you know, most times when we go to the doctor or we get um, injections or vaccinations and things like that, but this syringe, I um, put Jesus's name over it because the man received immediate healing when he encountered Jesus. So that is the second sticker sheet. The third sticker sheet um, pulls from the story and here the verse is referenced Luke 5 3 and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship this is when he went into Peter's boat and he began to preach by the seashore so we've got Jesus here one hand over his heart but the other hand is extended as if speaking out to the people you've got the boat on the water so I thought that this was just really nice to um, put together and this is an entire sticker. If you can see how big that is. You've got more um, of the floral and foliage on this sticker sheet. You've got some uh, stamp, sort of like um, faux stamp pieces in an ombre effect. You've got the blue here, you've got the green, and this one is also um, that faux stamp right there. And then you've got this kind of like, there's some hints of antique sprinkled in in the kit. So you've got this, um, this kind of antique emblem or frame here with the bouquets in the middle. And you've got that, that sticker sheet number three. Sticker sheet number four, you've got all of your, um, your washi strips. You've got your washi strips there, two of them. And then you've got all the floral arrangements. You've got the, um, the two bouquets that we've seen so far. Um, a bigger, some bigger pieces of the peonies by themselves, the ones with the, um, the peonies that aren't quite, they're, they're budded, but they're not quite, um, bloomed yet. And then you've got this big, um, bouquet over here on the side. So that is your fourth sticker sheet. Okay. So looking on our, our listing card, it says one large alpha and numeric sticker sheet. And I did do that in the same watercolored background. So you've got your alpha and numeric sticker sheet there. Then it says you've got 32 die cut pieces. I won't go through all of them. The die cut pieces are the same pieces that you'll find on the sticker sheet. So you're just finding them in card stock um, format. They're in the die cut pieces. So they're all cut out, but they're on card stock. So I like these because what I like to do is to make like a little 2D effect by putting my die cuts on um, foam adhesive, double-sided foam adhesive tape and giving it that little raised effect in my layouts. And it, it, it gives you a little more um, dimension as far as doing your layouts. You can put some stickers and then some with the die cuts and just give it that staggering layered effect if you want to. But these are all of the pieces that you find on the sticker sheet. They're all here. So you've got double, okay? So these are all of the pieces, washies included. Those are your die cut pieces. Then it says on our listing card, you'll get four journaling cards. So this month I didn't put anything on the back of the journaling cards, but the journaling cards I did design in a tag format. So they look like tags, but they've got this vintagey feel because of these beautiful peonies florals that we're incorporating in this month's kit. So this is the first one. It's got the foliage in the corner, or you can turn it this way, however, you want to but like I said the back is plain but even if you wanted if you're not per uh, someone who like can write in a straight line what I like to do is to get like the happy planner full boxes and I can put one of those stickers back here and it allows me to write in a straight line or you can just take a ruler and draw in the lines however you want to use it I want to I, I didn't want to um, um, box box in how you use it but you can format it you can even put more decoration on the back and then put it as a tip in by just taping a corner that way you can flip it over and see both sides of the design or however you want to use it so this is the first 
journaling card. This is the second one. Look how gorgeous that looks. And I love the shape of, the, of these tags. They're, they're, I'm not gonna say tags. I'm gonna say frames. They're, they have these, these um, decorative frames that I've used. So forgive me for saying tags. There are these framed um, designs that I used to make the journaling cards this month. So isn't that gorgeous? The third one has just the white peonies by itself over that beautiful uh, pink watercolored background. And I like the design of this uh, frame as well. And then this journaling card has just the pink peonies on the blue background, the green outline. I just love it. And you can put it whichever way you like. So those are the journaling cards. And then the last but not least, there's a wild card that's included in the monthly. So for this month, we're including a keychain wristlet. Well, it's a wristlet, but you can put this onto your keys. It does have the, lo the lobster class hook, so you can hook this onto your keys or hook your keys rather onto this, and you can have it as a wristlet, you know, to make it easily um, to, so you're getting out of your car, you need your keys, you know, readily accessible. You just put it around your wrist and you have it, you're carrying your bags, however you want to use it. But I love this because it incorporates the floral designs that are in this month's um, subscription box. And it has the verse Luke 4 and 8, which says, worship God and serve him only. And it's got the design on the back as well. Okay. So that is the wristlet that is included as the wild card. So you've got all of your goodies here, message, your acetate, your mat, all of this is part of the January 2023 subscription. I'm just going to put them, lay them out here. And that is it, everyone. So I just wanted to come and just give you a look at this month's month monthly subscription. Um, if you are watching and you are not subscribed to the monthly, just be advised that the shop is closed and is on vacation. I'm so sorry, but we're preparing for 2023. So there are quite a bit of things that we need to get together. We're trying to bring new items to the shop for 2023. Um, you won't be able to purchase this if this is something that you're seeing now and you're like, oh my God, I want this box. But I do have a listing in the shop for past monthly subscriptions. So all the past monthly subscriptions for this year will be removed and we are gonna start over. So if you want the January subscription box, when we open back up on January 23rd, you'll be able to purchase it under the past subscriptions listing, okay? I think I covered everything and I hope I did. Anyway, happy Friday to you all. Also, happy new year to everyone. If I don't get to come on and chat with you before uh, Sunday, I probably won't, but have a, um, a great new, um, new Year's Eve with your family, however you're celebrating and Let's have a happy, uh, I'm not going to even say happy. Let's have a joyous, healthy, and wealthy new year in 2023. Thank you for watching the video. I will chat with you all again later. Be blessed, everyone. Bye-bye.